the beast. It's as if Petrushka and Leonard Bernstein were in a ferocious dance competition with switchblades. That is passion, my dear. Um, okay. So it's a bit like just the five of us. What a show! I love Jimmy. He is so cute, even though he looks so young. I'd rather not talk about my complications working with him. I'm a performer. I express myself any way I can, while I'd never attempt to describe just the five of us as anything other than a worshipless pap. I need to support my serious art. It's like stealing a boombox to do live interpretive dance. If I bring joy to people's hearts doing an interpretation of a tree in the park, who is harmed? There. Keep beating us to it. We just got too many cars. We can't compete. Mr. Bassetti, if you're out there listening in, you want to put the VC caps out of action before we go back. Me and you, baby. Get out of your car, <laughs> Say in France, Matrice. Please. Not in my house. Please, I came on your fine show to discuss art, not people that whore themselves out on the altar of commercial success, dancing like a puppet alongside a genetic freak. Although, I do that too. Okay, so what do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't know. My performance at the Hollywood Bowl, perhaps. There are some that attend the concert inside. I am the concert outside myself. In the parking lot where we build bonfires and dance, it comes back to the seriousness of my purpose. At a young age, I held puppet shows on the corner that had people weeping and lying down in the streets. It's about movement, about encouraging ordinary, working-class people that there is something enervating about a modern dance performance. That seeing in the future there will be robots will change your life, no matter what your life's like now. stage, we have snow that falls and represents love in all its forms. The robot makes a snow angel and we begin to cry. Close curtain. Um, okay. Well, I love just the five of us. Please, 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 enough! Five succeeds while robots starve. Attendance has been poor. If I were opening this with the Orchestra Philharmonica di Jalapa in Mexico, there would be riots in the streets with small children giving me flowers and weeping. Here in Vice City, they wouldn't know art unless it came as a tube of beef jerky. They told me, Claude, it can't be done. Vice City is for sun worshippers and Philistines, and I told them no. I told them if I'm directing a work of commercial dross down there, I must save my soul with some serious art. But to be honest, Amy, they were <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel ahead of my time. The best artists are ignored. I mean, surely any right-minded person would rather spend an evening watching me express the meaning of space as I move delicately across the stage. You can't have shit around here, man! Ooh, you're clashing with my dress! Zeus! Cicero! Shakespeare! Flaubert! Someone! Please save me from this hellhole! My dear, so ignorant. I'm trying to save you, to save everyone. You don't see the art around you. Are you in search of old Lang Syne's, singing Madama Butterfly on a windowsill, or relegating yourself to a cricket in Huckleberry Finn? I'm a movement that conquers love while you complain about your dress. Know you not how important my mission be? Right. Okay, Mr. Chesterfield, I mean, <laughs> Mr. Magana, you gotta hang in there. You're on K-Chat, and I'll be right back. 
At the law firm of DeLeo and Purex, we understand that sometimes life throws you a curveball. We help our blue chip clients get their lives back after circumstances have conspired against them. Just listen. It was an unfortunate accident what happened to my wife on that precarious cliff. DeLeo and Purex can't bring my wife back, but they made sure I didn't end up in the slammer. I was unfortunate enough to be found with 50. Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. No matter how improbable, we're not cheap. But what price can you put on truth? Call the Leo and Purex today at 866-974-2333. That's 866-9-SHADY. The Leo and Purex. Accidents happen, and we'll prove it. The store leading the fight against communism is having a blowout sale. Ammunation has a wide array of peacemakers. Come by Ammunation on Militia Mondays, exercise your Second Amendment rights, and get 10% off all armor-piercing bullets. We're the only gun store that lets you try it before you buy it. Need anti-tank missiles? We've got them. Flamethrowers? Oh, yeah. No credit? No problem. No money down? 90 days, same as cash. Shoot now, pay later. During the 10-minute waiting period, fire off a few rounds of the Ammunation gun range. Featuring faces of famous Tommy Pinko. Come by Ammunition and register to win an anti-aircraft gun. Actually used when we whooped Australia's ass. This weekend is the Ammunition Film Festival with three screenings of the documentary Red Dawn. Ammunition, protecting your rights. You're back on Day Chat with me, Amy, and my special guest. Let's go to the phones. Mr. Maginot, Bruce from Porn Island. Big fan of the show, Mr. Maginot. Big fan. Dude, I don't know about this, the robot thing. It, it, it's weird. Quickly, is he really 42? Does he shop in the kids' aisle? Does he get on roller coaster rides? I mean, what's... Oh, who's on the line? I mean, who's on line? Oh, what number is it? Who, who's Thoughts on the line? about the show, the pants. They were so tight, so fitted. How do you get such a marvelous, close, sequin figure hugging fit and still? Hmm, no sign of Mercedes. Oh, and were the sequins a reference to lasers? Yes, yes, my, my, I agree. Thanks for calling. That is an important question. You see, I'm an important person, and I especially think so. It is really important for people to see my form move through space in very tight pants, or the effect is ruined. Interpretive dance cannot be expressed in baggy clothing. It's like a violin parade. Otherwise, why have a love story with a manatee and the lasers? It's very You're kind of creepy. You're nothing like you are on the show. You're so funny there, joking with the family and putting out the fire started by the homeless guy and starting group hugs. But in real life, you're just plain creepy. You won't even tell us how old Jimmy is. All you talk about is Archie stuff like that nobody understands because it's complicated and how tight your pants are. That's not true. I also discussed love and passion and humanity and the lasers. You, my dear, could use all three. You, my dear, are a philistine. I'm sorry, but this is one of the most degrading, debasing, horrific, unedifying, opportunistic things I have ever done in my life since that whole Rake's Progress lawnmower commercial. I feel dirty. Like I it's time for Kaufman's cabs, guardian angel, to eat some fender.
Bill! Run! Run! Ah, wait! Never get in a naked place too close to where the Phil Cassidy's moonshine steals. Shit, Phil. Did you drink that stuff? The hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. Hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. That's a record. Oh, so oh, Amy, I'm happy to be here. It's been a long journey. Uh, yeah. Now, I don't know much about you. I mean, I read Beowulf. Well, I didn't, but I read the cover. But, like, you're a Viking, right? Did the tunic and goatskin boots give you a clue, maybe? I am a Viking, and a Viking that will not only help you unleash the Furies, but unleash yourself. It's in my Thor's horsepower program. Okay. I'm a little confused. Well, I'm a lot confused. Lois, what are you doing trying to like that? Okay, I'm violent. An elder once told me, you must unlearn what you have learned. Of course, then he died of the green thing. There are some Vikings that are a bloodthirsty lot, yes, but no more than anyone else. That fire too, Amy. You've just lost it since you've gotten television. Now, that being said, I'll end. Vikings travel to Scotland, and mind you, anyone who goes there will turn bloodthirsty. You can't understand what the lot are saying. It's all a four, reckless, a boot, dinay. It's enough to make you want to burn a village to the ground. That's why, in my cassette series, I talk about the importance of communication. You see, Amy, men and women live in different worlds. We use different words. A group of men talk about what they've killed, how to start a fire, who has the best long boat. Women want to talk about it. I'm raiding a village, I don't need to be talking about feelings, it's time for action! Great! So is that all there is to being a Viking? Hey. No, lass, no! Villaging and battle are important. We acquire boats as well, as long as it's all about whacking someone in the double-handed battle axe. What's holding you back, Amy? Chapter 3 of my book, I talk about listening to the bloodthirsty water spirit. I think I went there last night. Oh, no. That was Malibu. Century. We have electricity, penicillin, jet planes, implants. Well, I don't, but I want some, but I heard the operation is really gross. You live like it's 982 AD or something. Mind ye tongue, wench, lest I cut it out. Deep down, all of you listening to me say, Thor, yes, I'd like to unleash the Viking within. Maybe you'll go camping once a year or hunting and wonder why it feels so natural. That's because it is. Too much of this denying your instincts. Men shaving. You know, deep down in the pit of your soul, you wish you could crouch in the grass with eyes biting your face, afraid to move for fear of alerting the beast. beauty. Then you drag the carcass back to camp and celebrate by eating its heart. Some people, they only do this. Tommy, it's Phil. Now cut out all the reminiscent crap and listen to me, you hear? Good. I got me some extra shrink boonshine nearing fermentation time and I was wondering if you'd fancy having a shot. Seriously, Tommy, if you like a drink or if you need to strip paint, this stuff will make a man out of you. Sure did out of me, even though I can't see out of one eye. I'll be waiting for you. You hear? Heavy on the foolish, you know what I mean, man? <laughs> it must be nice to have you as a neighbor, not. I live in no place longer than needed to fulfill my goals. Taking slaves, valuables, and food. Goal setting is very important, Amy, not just in football. You're very weird and creeping me out of it, but whatever. No weirder than anything else. So? What do you think of Vice City? Ah, I like it very much. Your women here are prepared for battle. They are large, 
not like those scrawny things to the north. A woman who weeds well provides for her man. You cannot set sail for robbing and pillaging on an empty. Wisdom is not to be treated so lightly. When my father grew old, I sat with him day and night, absorbing his wisdom, learning about the demons and where the wickedness resides in men's hearts. Hey, Phil. How's it going? Hey, Tony! How you doing? This bit you lot! I swear you should lay off that boom shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. It's making my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Something. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Don't woozy. you worry about the smell, oh. Tommy. You just watch this. <sighs> Shitty, cheap, bad or something. There's some more on the bench. Ta-da! Oh, damn! <laughs> Helga. What a hag. This show is not... Watch out! What Charlie is tree life! Say. Women are people too. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't talk that way. Ah, don't live in a chimney, you troll. You 20th century women are all the same. And me hag helps it's me. Or are the rose made of jelly? I ain't having no mead no more. I'm going to meetings. See? That's your problem. As soon as you sort something out, you have to go preaching from the rooftops to everyone else. Frog is smooth. The mother here. Got it. Then she says, Thor, I'm getting my stomach stable. I look fat. My outfit is too bad. Not the hospital, man. Too many cops and be it long. There's an ex army surgeon who owes me a few favors. And a long one. He's got a place down, little event. Oh, look. Giant fish. Got her. Pixie Goblin, what kind of weird ancient nonsense are you talking about? Good one. I am as old as a fjords, as young as a newborn lamb. Are you shy about your age? <laughs> Just lie about it, like my mom. Thor is never shy. Oh, Thor is mighty. Oh, Thor is a god. And where are you from? From the beginning of the flat earth, where the sun meets the sky. Oh. I think by now, you know, I am an emotional kind of guy. People stop me in the street and say, Fernando, what the hell is wrong with me? Silk jerk, hairy chest, enough aftershave to drown a household pet. But I still cannot get a woman. I tell them you are an ignorant fool. Without a symbol of power and fertility around your neck, what kind of woman is going to respect you? That is why I have teamed up with Medallion Man, the shop for Medallion Needs. Medallion Man caters to all levels of masculinity. For the strong, silent type, a medallion the size of a hubcap will say hey, everything mother. that needs to be said. Even singing medallions for the Casanova, who knows, music is the food of love. Model trains, dollhouses, diapers, whatever your interest, we've got the medallion for you. Don't forget, every... She's always giving me a heart. Tommy, it's Phil. I want to thank you for helping me out back there, son. Damn Charlie, he'll always ambush you somewhere or the other. Anyway, the wound is healing well, and it means I'll no longer be defrauding the government on my disability check. Lady Killer here. Make Fuse funky and Death March is danceable. It's the science of music and Synth, Synth, Synth and Sun. Remember, you don't know you're a musician until you try. We're back on KChat with me, Amy, and my guest is Thor, Viking warrior and elf health guru. Do you have a last name? Oh, whatever. Anyway, what were we talking about? We were talking about the wisdom of the ancients. 
There are many hurdles in life, Amy. I remember one of the first bits of fan mail. A woodland troll has carried off my woman in the dead of night. Give me wisdom, Thor. So, what did you tell him? Hi, Amy. It was obvious the Black Plague had visited his home. As sure as you can't be a midwife to a fairy, expect wisdom from a fool, or find a good meal downtown on a Saturday night. Okay. I don't, um, I really have nothing to ask you because I really don't think we're bonding quite right here. I'm more than a little confused. Let's go to the phone! You're on K-Chat with Thor. Yes, hello, Thor. My name's Jay. I'm a huge fan, man. Your book really helped me get through puberty. Everyone else was into vampires and stuff. I just got to the Viking thing. It's pretty cool. It's been working pretty well for me. Anyway, my girlfriend and I, we fight all the time. She's always calling to check up on me. It really totally sucks. It's a drag. Like, I hang out at the strip mall with all my boys. Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? What are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew it. A child. A dirty, stinking, sniffling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little boo who Mommy doesn't love you. You little shit. Ow, calm down. I hate babies, and I hate children. They're dirty, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking Enough little... already! What is wrong with you? You make soft ice cream, okay? It's purely for kids. What kind of psycho are you? Just so I understand this, why make children happy if you oh, hate them? Oh, you stupid, sniveling, snotty... Shut up! Rat! The ice cream is a front. We distribute other non-dairy products. And if I see a kid, I put him to good use. Don't I, kiddies? Yes, yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. What a nice lady. Still, you know, I hear there's good money in ice cream. Hey, Suits Dude, I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower engine. And the fiberglass hull? She just shoots through the waves. She can do 